building uh, became part of the property that we purchased in 1998 when we wanted to construct Field Park. And the idea was to create a little neighborhood park that was adjacent to Field Elementary School. The city's original intent was to create green space at this park, so we had proposed to tear down the building. However, when we were doing our public input meetings, we had uh, several concerns about keeping the building, so we held multiple meetings. The decision was made to keep the building and maybe convert it to a neighborhood center. Eventually, we selected a neighborhood group to manage and run the building with the goal of redoing the restoration. Well, over a period of time, that group, basically the fundraising efforts failed, it was a tough economy, and they seized operations. So the, city, the building reverted back to the city. In 2012, our Parks and Recreation Commission decided that something needed to be done with the building. We needed to either tear it down or find someone else to manage the building. Finally, we solicited more proposals. We received two of them, one of them being Grove Construction. After meeting with both Bob and Tony Grove, we felt that we had a great partnership. And then in late 2013, our city council approved agreement with Grove Construction for them to manage the building and do the renovation work. As you can see behind me, Grove Construction has done a remarkable job in renovating this building. And what's really nice is it, it is one of our largest historic buildings and one of our largest historic neighborhoods. So it's really become a, a great addition to this neighborhood. One of our negotiations with uh, Bob and Tony Grove about the building was we wanted to maintain the mural that's located on the north side of the building. As you can see from the paintings and the images on there, this mural was done by a collaborative effort of long-term residents like Betty Cook Rotman, as well as little kids as young as three, four, five years old, as you can see from their handprints on the wall. It really is a good representation of this neighborhood who consists of many of those long-term residents as well as the young families.